happen. And with Canada legalizing marijuana on Wednesday and Michigan set to vote on legalization for recreational marijuana this November, it's what we're about to show you is a very timely report. Well, it's shedding light on the impact that recreational marijuana is having on driving. And let's get to Jason for more on that. The legalization of recreational marijuana is spreading, but it could be having an impact on road safety. That's the implication in a new report from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. Enthusiasm in Canada this week as it becomes the second country to legalize recreational marijuana. In the U.S., recreational cannabis is now legal in nine states and the District of Columbia, but with the wave of change comes new research linking legal cannabis with an increase in vehicle crashes. The likelihood of being involved in a collision in those states where you have legalized marijuana is greater than in the neighboring states that we used as controls. The report analyzed insurance and police data from some of the first states to legalize recreational cannabis, Colorado, Washington, Oregon, and Nevada. In those states, crashes are up by as much as 6% compared with states where marijuana is illegal. We do not want to see uh, marijuana uh, reach the same level of uh, destruction on our roadways that we see with alcohol. While drunk driving is widely considered taboo, the same stigma may not exist for driving high. In a Washington roadside survey, drivers who tested positive for THC were less likely to agree that marijuana impairs driving. 14% of drivers with marijuana in their system had a child in the car. You shouldn't be behind the wheel of a vehicle regardless of what the substance is. Driving under the influence of marijuana is illegal in all 50 states, but determining impairment continues to be a challenge. Now, those looking at this say states considering legalization should consider the potential impact on highway safety, so that means us here in Michigan. All righty, Jason, thank you.